place is pretty breathtaking, I have to say. I've seen the videos, we've all seen the videos, but when you see it in person, I hope my camera can capture some of it. It's like pretty breathtaking. This is... The architecture is beautiful. It's been how many years? 15 years in the making or something. Crazy, more. It is, uh, I can say well worth the wait because But it is really, really something. I'm just kind of soaking it all in. There's a lot of good games here. Slot machines I haven't seen other places. Brand new ones. Everything is clean. Grands and majors are ready to be hit. I'm here on a Wednesday afternoon, so it's not really that busy. Perfect time to walk around, kind of soak it all in. But, you know, every casino has like a... Uh, scent like a distinct scent some better than others like aria has a great scent all around in the restrooms and like it's just like some kind of like fragrance they put everywhere this place has a really nice one and look at this this is just like kind of breathtaking that's that's a overused term i think but when you see this in person there's like a lot of people just walking around looking up <laughs> this is good reason it is great i wish there was a poker room here i don't think there's a poker room but pretty much everything else and uh, really excited this is in our city now a lot of jobs opened up a lot more tourism a lot more uh, a lot more fun on this end of the strip I know Wynn Encore and Resorts World now to some extent we're holding it down the mall of course fashion show but this is the icing on the cake here. The entrance was down there from Las Vegas Boulevard on Elvis Presley Boulevard, so we're just kind of in here now, in the middle. The center bar is amazing. The blue bar, the blue bar. And yeah, we'll turn the camera back on. There's some more stuff to see. Okay, here we are on the other side next to the restaurants and the high limit tables. Go back over there. Table games over there, the rewards center, getting your players' cards. We'll walk back over there in a sec. But it's just like nice to be here when there's not like a huge mass of humanity walking around everywhere, bumping into each other. And it's really, really nice. These restaurants are. Each one, like when you walk inside of it, I don't know if anyone's played Mario 64, but when you walked into each level, you know, you walked into like the painting, it was like a new world. Each room brought you to a new world. This is how each one of these restaurants and like areas remind me of like a whole new experience, a whole new world here. High limits, tables waiting. This is, this is like great Gadsby's ball right here. these chandeliers each one of these chandeliers if they're even chandeliers are probably like two or three million dollars each one of them if not more they are amazing there's high limit slots we'll find ourselves in there one day soon it's like each each entry point is like a gateway to a new world get sucked in, immersed, hopefully win money, and then come back out and enjoy everything this place has to offer, the drinks, the ambiance, sights and sounds. There's Cartier about to open up. Their, their shopping is 
shopping center. I'm not sure like what it looks like, but like the shopping center at Resorts World. I don't know if anyone's been there recently, but it is so underwhelming. Like a bunch of like, uh, just like nothing. Like for how nice the place is, Resorts World, it just like feels, just the overall theme is underwhelming to kind of describe it. It's not as much energy. I don't know why. Maybe this place will kind of funnel some energy into it. They'll work together. But this place, yeah, it looks like some of the shops are already, you can tell, are nicer and not like some, I don't know, generic stores that they have over there. So this is the center bar, and now we're on the other side of it. We were on that side, now here we are. The table games are open. And... Looks like someone did some winning on that machine. The elevator is part for the rooms. Just, I can see there's still some work to be done, but it's nice that, you know, people were in here for about a week or two, and the adjustments that needed to be adjusted are there. Here's where we're staying. Go up over there. I guess. He's looking around. Excited to see what they got upstairs here. The other entrance, where is this next to? Um, what side is this over here? It's the rooms. It's the registration. This registration over here. What is this? Find out. Maybe it's where the rooms are. Wow, it's really cute over here. That artwork looks like I don't know Jean. How do you say his name? Basquiat from New York. I'm not sure if that's him or just a uh, replica or something. Or someone paying homage and doing his style. It looks really cool. But yeah, this is looks like the check-in desk, valet, rooms. This looks like a, I don't know how to describe it. it looks like super like mm, like the atomic age. You know how like stuff was always influenced in America and other workplaces about like when we were doing the space race and all that kind of stuff. And like it gives me like. 2001 a space odyssey vibe by the great uh stanley kubrick like the place looks like very like, futuristic retro but also like like i mentioned great gatsby like it is it's a definitely a vibe a beautiful vibe really nice people everywhere it seems like and that is the check-in in the valet what time is it 12.30, almost lunchtime. Not sure if we're gonna eat here or somewhere else. But, we will turn the camera back on if we do eat here. I'll see some pretty Christmas stuff. I don't know what this is. Parking. I was trying to go upstairs, but I got distracted by the beautiful Christmas ornaments, so I had to come see what was going on. And that was the check-in desk. Another nice lounge and restaurants. Okay. All right. The most iconic streets in the world. Here. 
Okay, so this is the top. I want to photobomb them. I'm going to go up here. Oops, excuse me. Moving on up to the second floor, and another amazing chandelier. What is up here? Is it shopping? Yeah, it looks like gym, moonstone events. Interesting. Elevators, some shopping, some good stuff. La Fontaine. Heard that place is good. The couple videos I watched with other people kind of doing little tours, it was overwhelming to watch. There was just so many people everywhere those first two, three days. It's just really nice, like, being able to absorb it all, you know, not be overwhelmed, feel claustrophobic. Even the restroom has a curtain if you're performing on stage. This is, Some of the stores over here give me a little bit of the vibes of uh, Resort World I was saying. Stores I've never even heard of. Stores that are kind of like maybe underground like fashion brands. It's not like you're seeing Gucci or Louis Vuitton or things up here. Or like more accessible stuff, that, you know, like Nike or H&M or stuff that. I just want to go grab something quickly, a new pair of shoes to be comfortable with, some sweatpants. I don't think you would stop here to get anything. Oh, here's the food court. That's what's up here. Okay. Food court. Looks nice. Very spacious. Look at this view. Look at the view over here. Pretty, 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 pretty nice. So they got a taco stand, roadside taco. All right, all right. Representing Miami. I think we're the first location kind of started out. Miami Slice, is it pizza? Are they known for their pizza? Okay, Komodo. Guessing that's Japanese food. And yeah. Pizza looks really good at Miami Slice. I'm looking at their table, making me hungry for pizza. Looks like it's worth the money. The crust looks nice and toasty. couple days after Christmas, so it seems like there's still a few people in town just visiting. 
kids are probably still off for winter break. Out here with the family. The food court is definitely more, how do you say, bougie, like really good options. But there's no like Panda Express or Subway here. Like <laughs> You'll see a Venetian or something like that, their food court. It is very spacious and there's not that many. You think there'd be more, there's like one, two, three, four, like five, six food options here, which is interesting. Only six, but it's like six solid choices. So. And then of course there's all the higher end uh, dining options around here. Downstairs, poppy steak. <laughs> Is that Club Live? Oh, they have a Club Live here too. I know that's a very famous club out there in Miami. That's cool. And this is where good things happen. This, this animation is so sick for these cards. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but that looks beautiful. As you'd expect from a place like this. Alright. The pool and club live are upstairs, it looks like. One more level. And... My first impressions of this place, like I, obviously the first impressions of Durango when I went a few weeks ago was, it's nice, it's cute, it's a... Uh, there's nice like natural light coming in. But my first impression of this place is it's just like another step up of those places. This is a Vegas like powerhouse casino. It's the, you know, we know like the heart of Vegas, we would say is probably Bellagio, Planet Hollywood, Caesars Palace kind of, and like around that area roughly, about like two miles. But you know, this end of the strip is definitely coming through and they're putting together some good stuff. Of course, the weakest link is uh, Circus Circus. So I've heard things like they may sell it, someone else may acquire it and then do some magical things to it. But I think if they do like just totally tear it down and build something else up on its ashes, I think it will really change this end of the strip because the Wynn Encore, the fashion show mall, this now, it's just, yeah. It's really strengthening this end of the north end of the strip. So, yeah, that's it for now. I will turn the camera back on if there's anything else to see, if I go play or anything. But yeah, definitely come visit. If you're gonna come to Vegas, this is definitely worth uh, a couple nights staying here. So, uh, definitely take advantage of that because this place is magical. All right, talk to you guys later. Here we are, the Fountain Blue. Let's to play our first slot game here. We are with the lovely Genghis Khan. And put in 50 and won a little bit, which is nice. So let's keep it going. Let's see what happens here. Chewy. Chewy. That's oh, some decent numbers in here. Come on, come on, three. Five 
five bucks back. For this mini, the mini's 20, so you have a progressive, obviously. Hmm. 30 whole cents back, that was cute. I think I'm seeing the major flash. today. Oh, I missed the Genghis Khan. Hmm. Oof. Pretty good for 250 bet. Calm down, calm down, Genghis. That was nice, but... Oh? Okay. Some big old numbers. favorite two cents. Oh. 
Dean back, that's not bad. Ding dong! 90 cents, not as good. What's the other symbol? Ding dong! Accidentally fast tap that, but let's see. I'm gonna hit that major right. Excuse me? What is this? Oh my god. A 2x win so far. I want to make up for it. Oh my god. Okay. We worked that hard for not even 3x. Interesting. Very interesting.
to the next one. We'll turn the camera back on when we get there.